What is going on everybody, Matic222 here today, bringing you guys another figure review. Today we are looking at the Transformers Power of the Primes, Voyager Class, Alita 1. As always guys, we're going to look at the packaging first, you, you, you know the drill. So we got, get out of the way. So we got a nice shot of Alita 1 right there, looking pretty cool. The Alita 1. And there. Bio on the back. If you want to read that, you know, pause this video now. And there she is. There, see her feet, prime armor, all that kind of prime stuff. You, you know how they do, guys. So there you go, Alpha Trion. All, all that stuff. I don't, I don't really know. Uh, I'm going to be honest, guys. I'm kind of burnt out from Transformers gimmicks. So, uh,. I'm not really feeling the, especially the power of the prime, so I'm not really feeling it. So, forgive me for not feeling as enthusiastic. But there's your alt mode that looks pretty cool. We'll look at that. Just that on the top. Yeah, guys, I'm just kind of burnt out from gimmicks, uh, and this one's really, really not doing it for me. But nonetheless, we're gonna look at the figure. So, yeah. All right, so looking at the figure herself, let's get the guns out of the way just for now. She looks pretty nice. I actually don't mind this figure. I know it's just a re reuse of Starscream, but I don't have that the power of the Prime Starscream, so this body is kind of new for me. I like the face sculpt. I like the eyes. Very discernible. Looks really good. Autobot logos on the shoulders. Cleanly displayed. I like that. The only problem with this figure... Uh, Big problem, I will say, is uh, stickers. The stickers seem to be peeling off everywhere, and the backpack is really huge on her. It's not. It's not the worst, but it is really huge. It is really noticeable. So I wish we could. They could find a way to kind of shrink the backpacks, and the legs are really kind of bulky. Uh, the feet, more specifically, but they do at least support her. They support her weight, so. Paint apps are good. I like the white and the lighter, not the lighter pink or the kind of flatter pink. It's more like a salmon, and then it's got the red. So some really nice colors going on there. Uh, yeah. So articulation for her head moves side to side, forward and back. The arms don't move the best, so they do rotate. They do have a nice ratchet to them, but as far as moving out you can't move the shoulder out but you can move the arm in and out this is the most you can move it in so and, but it does rotate and she does she does have a waist twist but it's mostly for transformation maybe so you can't even use it on this mode hips move out this far kicks this far forward kicks that far back got a nice bend in the knee a nice swivel in the legs Guys, I want to apologize. Uh, my house is a little loud today. Uh, so we had, a, we had a tornado. By the time you're watching this, it will have been a while ago. But uh, we did have a tornado. Yeah, two tornadoes, actually. So a lot of power went out. A lot of people lost their homes. So uh, I'm, having, I'm trying to help out and I have some people staying at my house right now. And uh, it is the house is a little bit louder. So I do apologize for that. But again, natural disasters. I hope you guys understand. Uh, not gonna harp on that too much so yeah that's pretty much it for the articulation I like the front of the legs I actually like that gray kind of break up the brightness a little uh, accessories comes with these two guns they look stupid she also comes with the feet for a combiner I don't know what combiner I don't know where they are I don't care at this point so let's just go ahead and get right into transformation so transformation, transformation on her, not super complicated. So twist the head around, and then you just kind of t twist the backpack around. I don't really think it matters how you do it. And then you just kind of bring the front of the plane down like that. Flip those back. Pop the wings out. And the legs, all you do is well, just oh sorry guys so fold these down of course push 
the legs in the back. Make sure they're make sure they're in. I don't really think they clip on or lock on as well as they should. And then fold the wings down. Yeah, so you can kind of get them together. There we go. Fold up the feet, and I guess I get these parts down. And then it's basically just trying to lock, just trying to get everything to fit together. I always find it it's hard, doesn't always fit right. And then the hands, you basically just peg them on the side. As you can see right there, there is a little peg hole. You just kind of pop those in. And that's pretty much it. That is our alt mode. Uh, pretty nice. And we'll show you the guns. Show you where the guns go. So you can just pop those on the sides. Ugh, I just dropped one. Gosh darn it. Ah, oh, here we go. Hate when that happens. So there you go. That is her alt mode. It's not the best, it's not the worst. I mean, it doesn't kind of peg in as much as I would like it to. Like, it doesn't fit together as well as I should, especially like this part here. Let's see. Once you kind of force it in there, but all in all, it is a pretty decent plane or jet. I guess you could say jet. Uh, like I said, I like it because I didn't pick up the Starscream, so I don't know if it's really close to Starscream, but. For me, it's kind of different enough from the one I have. So I like it a lot. And I like the shininess. I like the stickers. They make it look nice and shiny on the front. So I think the alt mode is definitely my favorite mode for this one. Uh, but I don't know. That's just me. But that is pretty much it, guys. So how about we get her back into robot mode. And then I can give you guys my final thoughts. Alright, so all in all, I don't super dislike this figure but i don't super like this figure either uh i don't know the the plane the jet mode is really good and i really like the paint apps aside from that i think she's just kind of all right i don't really think the guns fit in her hand very well so that is a little bit tedious uh transformation is really simple but the the way the tech Technically, the transformation is not great. The way everything fits together, the way it looks, it's not great. Uh, like I wish it snapped together better than it does. But overall, it's still a pretty good figure. And if you watch my uh, Moon Racer review, I did talk about, like, I like that we're getting, we're seeing more, like, female Transformers. So, you know, uh, my, 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 my daughter was really excited for this one because, you know, she, she's getting into Transformers and she likes to feed the, the lady Transformers, so... I like this. I'm a little bit biased, and I maybe like this figure a little more just because of that. But uh, other than that, it's probably probably an easy pass, uh, especially if you got the star screen. But that is it for this video, guys. So thank you again for watching. Thank you for all your support. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe, guys. I would really really appreciate that subs that subscribe because I'm only six or seven away from hitting 200, and I'd really love to hit that milestone by the new year. Uh, so if you do I don't even know if this video is going to be up by the new year but so but anyway I would appreciate that guys also please make sure you check out all my social media links in the description make sure you head over to Facebook and check out the sanctuary page come hang out there and that is going to be it guys so thank you again have yourselves a great day and I will catch you next time with another figure review and 